In this video, I'm covering all the new things about the next generation, the latest generation of Mustangs, Easter eggs, and some hidden features that the brand new S65 Mustang has to offer. This model in particular happens to be the GT base version. So this is equipped with the 300A package. And there is a four cylinder turbo option available starting at $30,000, which has about 310 horsepower. The GT line will get you 480 horsepower. Now, one of the first cool Easter eggs, I gotta say, is the Easter eggs you can see around the vehicle, which includes like these small pony emblems located here. You have one located right here in the windshield. And if we open up the door, there's one located also over here. And then over here, you got the first generation Mustangs all the way to the latest generation right over there. And then there's a hidden button right here that gives you access to the trunk instead of having to press on the button inside the vehicle. And there's an Easter egg right here, only on the passenger side tail light for that portion. Cargo space, this is how much trunk space you have. Not a lot, very similar to like other coupe models we've seen. Enough room for a donut. Unfortunately, they don't provide that, but it does have an inflation kit. And so long as you don't have rear passengers, you can't always unfold the rear seat, giving you a pass-through compartment right here, allowing you to fit something longer. And of course you have your low pulley right here and your backup camera is located here. And from my understanding, this spoiler is standard, but you could also opt to get it removed. Now, right here, we do have this hole exposure right here for the key. So if you need to open it, you have the exposure right here. Instead of previously, what you had to do is remove this plastic piece to just to have access to that. Massive Brembo's right here in the front. And then you also have additional Brembo's right here. And in case you're wondering, the width of this tire is 275s, which is quite standard. And these are 19 inch, not 20s. And in the front, you're running 255s. Then as you just witnessed, this vehicle does have walk away locking capabilities. So as soon as you walk away, the car will lock itself. And as soon as you approach it, it will automatically unlock. Now, since this is a six speed manual, this one does not have the revving mode capability where you this will be a remote start. But if you're curious how that works, it works like this. So I'm using my Ford key, which has remote start on my Ford pickup truck. And to replicate this is let's pretend like this is the key to the Mustang. Notice how both are unchanged and this is a 2017 key. They're still using this generation of key. So remote start your Mustang. And then once your remote start, you then, within the first three seconds, unlock your vehicle and lock, and this will automatically start a rev sequence on the Mustang. Again, this only works on the 10-speed automatic Mustangs. You could do this nine times, and then after that, you just have to repeat the process. Now, as we go underneath the hood, this is the fourth generation Coyote engine. It's a 5.0 like it always has been. But this is the cool, interesting part. It's a dual throttle body. So you have two separated air intake boxes right here. And this one has a cool little Easter egg because as we remove it, it will actually list all the other previous generation Mustang motors right here. And here's our 5.0. And air filters are actually cones. So you can upgrade those quickly with a K&N if you really want to. And just take this off if you want to hear the suction coming in in this naturally aspirated V8. And the cool thing about these Mustangs is struck bar is standard. This air vent is actually a functional air vent, unlike previous generation, early generation Mustangs. In terms of standard safety features, blind spot monitoring is available as well as lane keep assist. You can always opt for the Ford 360 package for pilot for advanced driving capabilities. Back seats are available, but even I wouldn't wish this upon my enemies to sit back here. And no, back seats are not here and available to bring down insurance costs. That's just an urban myth. If you really believe that a two-door coupe is going to fool an insurance company, you're living on a different planet. Now, I'm not entirely sure what these lights that illuminate that correlate to the headlights because they also follow the ambient lights when you enable your turn signals, as you're seeing right here. So I'm assuming that these are some type of fog lamps, but leave a comment down below if you know exactly what this is. But that's a unique little feature that I discovered. Now, once more, our Mustang happens to be the GT Fastback, which is not the premium version. So we have standard headlights as well as tail lights. So we don't have the sequential tail lights or any cool headlights or tail light animations, unfortunately. But honestly, this still looks really good in person. 
Now the interior of these new Mustangs definitely does look more elegant and more modern than ever before, especially with these larger displays. Although, since this is the standard GT Fastback, we have the split displays right here, where if this was the Premium or the Dark Horse, it would have just been one solid bar. Not sure why Ford decided to do this, I don't really think this is that much cost saving, but, but we have two individual displays. And as we turn on the vehicle, it does get pretty loud. This does have valve exhaust system, so you can change the little note by tapping on the little pony icon to my Mustang, which will give you quick access to, as soon as it loads, quick access to silent, sport, or track. So you can change the exhaust note right here on demand if you have the live valve. To give you a preview of how each mode sounds like, take a listen. Now continuing on the My Mustang menu, you have quick access to all your display gauges. If you want to see additional information like your transmission temperature and etc., including your G-forces, it's all displayed right here. And also, this menu is also totally customizable. Because if we go back, my colors. Because we can actually customize it to our own personal preference. So if we want white, oh, it's already selected white. If we want the blue to be red, it just changed in real time our RPM tack as well as everything else. I'm switching it back to blue but in my cluster themes you have different display themes options to choose from. Quick overview of how that looked like. My favorite one is probably the Fox Body Easter Egg. Here it is and this is how it looks like on the dash and if you're driving at night it will actually illuminate green like the old school vehicles used to illuminate when you're driving at night. You will have a USB port right here that will give you quick access to either hook up a dash cam without running wires all the way around or even a radar detector but unfortunately for a 300A you don't have this you don't have access to that accessory unfortunately. Now upon research the GT Fastback is the one we have doesn't have this USB A port right here it's only the premium as well as the dark horse and of course future higher end trim models for the Mustangs are going to have this. As well as we don't have wireless uh, phone charging capability as it's just a plain like blank spot right here but you do have a USB A as well as a USB C port and your 12 volt outlet out here as well but one thing for sure you do get, receive apple carplay wireless apple carplay too including android auto if you're an android user now while editing this video i found something very interesting where if you get the convertible version you'll find your sunglasses holder located right here because with the hard top we have our sunglasses holder right on top so pretty clever that Mustang has this storage just moved around for the convertibles. But the only thing standard from the GT line is the six speed manual, which uses a ring design to go reverse. And this is how the backup camera quality looks like. No 360 camera is available, unfortunately, but you do have sonar sensors. Handbrake is electric, even though it does look like it should be manual, it's not, it's electric. And if you're driving, you do have a uh, drift mode which you could just in instantly activate as soon as you're in gear. You just pull and the vehicle will automatically know to put itself in drift mode. That's something a lot of people are not covering, but drift mode is standard with this e-brake. It just sucks that it's electric. And then in terms of media control, unfortunately there's no Sirius XM on the 300A package. You only have AM and FM radio as well as CarPlay. It's just something I wanna show you guys and tell you guys about. And then for the GT model, your MPG, this is my average right here, just to get a real world sense. Now you do have key shortcuts like this favorite button, which will give you access to not only launch control, but you can also enable or disable rev matching here as well. So it does have launch control features as well as rev matching. And you can also program this favorite button to have a quicker access to your exhaust settings if you wish. So all this is customizable as well. 
And then like other sport cars, you do have profile customization abilities where you could adjust the steering feel, the handling, and so much more. And you could create up to and you can create up to six different preferences on um, unique profiles. Other than that, there you guys have it. Those are all the cool features, some Easter eggs and some tips and tricks. More about the Mustang GT. Now you know what the 300A package has to offer us. But honestly, even the 300A, pretty loaded to the most part, especially since the screens are still big. It still shows you a lot of information. Anywho, thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to watch more, or maybe you want to check out another vehicle very similar to the Mustang GT, check it out right over there. Thank you so much for watching.